I drew this conclusion too late, but it became very real to me within this last year that me and the music are one. When my best stuff ha has come through me, it feels like a blessing and a gift, and it feels bigger than me. And those of us who play music, I mean, it's a universal language. We could play for a Republican, a Democrat, we could play for a guy who's, you know, a zealot in one religion, and, and it never comes up because they love the music. It's, it's, we're so lucky that we can bypass politics and religion. The whole education system, and I'm talking specifically music now, but it cuts across to all of the subject, needs to be revisited. It should have nothing to do with stress. It should be the joy of music. I don't think people explain what the purpose of music is, so everybody is, who's faster? It's like the fastest gunslinger in the West. I believe music heals. From some research, certain beats and tempos and motion helps them. Like this woman who has Parkinson, who has trouble walking, she asked me to write a tango for her, and she danced it on the stage as one of the 12 movements of my symphonic healing suite. Everybody kind of has their own path, and it's different. There could be seven billion paths. They might all have some commonalities like compassion and kindness and hard work and things of that nature, but how each person delivers their magic, it's, in, it's beautifully individual. <laughs>